Hello everyone, here we are going to start with exercise 3.4 of the chapter squares and square root and deal with the questions in which we will be finding the square root by the division method. Here we will go with the question number 1 and find the square root of each of the following number by division method. Here we take the first part that is 2401. Very first of all we are going to write in this form and then we are going to make a pair from back of the side. First of all, we will take 0, 1 and then 2, 4 like this. Then we are going to start with the 24 in which we will count by the squares table like 1, 1, 0, 1, 2, 2, 0, 4, 3, 3, 0, 9, 4, 4, 0, 16, 5, 5, 0, 25. 25 is exceeding this 24, so we will take 4, 4, 0, 16. We are going to write like this. Then we are going to subtract 16 from 24 and add 4 over here. And here on adding 4 by 4 we got 8 and subtracting 16 from 24 we got 8 again. Now we are going to copy these two numbers 0 and 1 over here. After copying this we are going to write something over here like 8 and something over. And whatever we are going to write we are going to multiply by the same number. Suppose if write 1 then we are going to multiply by 1. If we write 2 then we are going to multiply it by 2. And here we have multiplied 9. 89 by 9 and we have got 801 which is equal to this one. So we are going to write 9 over here as well as over here and 108 over here and then subtract it. And as we are getting 0 over here this means this is a square root of this 2401. This is the way we find out the square root of the two digit of a uh, four digit number in which we are getting the answer in a two digit. Now we will go for the next question. Now here we are having a six digit number and on pairing we will be getting three pairs and this three pair means that you will be having the square root in three digits. Now again we are going to start like that only. We will take 1 1 0 1 2 2 0 4 3 3 0 9 and 4 4 16. 16 is exceeding this 10 so we will take 3 3 0 9. Then we are going to add 3 over here also and we have copied this 6 9 over here and finally got 1 6 9 and on adding 3 and 3 we have got 6. Now we are going to write something over here and then multiply by the same number. So we are trying by the 2. Here I have tried by 2 as well as by 3. As 3 1 is greater so we are going to take the 2 1 only. Then we are going to write 2 over here and copy the 2 digits over here. Now we will be writing something over here and then multiply by the same number. And on taking 7, 4, 6, 4, 7 into 7, we are getting the same number. So we can take the 7 over here. Now as we see 0 over here, this means this 2, 3, 2, 7 is the square root of this number. Now one thing I want to point over here that when we were having 2 pairs, we were having the answer in 2 digit. Here we are having the 3 pairs, this means our answer is in 3 digits. So the number of pairs decides the number of digits of our square root. Let's do one more part of it. Here we are having this number 167281. Now we will make a pair from back side. Here again we have got 3 pairs. This means your answer will be of 3 digits. Again we are going to start from the first. We are having 16 only that is a square of 4. So we can take the square of 4 only. After that we are going to add 4 over here and copy this 7 to down. Now we have to write something after 8 and multiply by the same number. Now if you see over here, if I write 1 over here, it will become 81 and 81 into 1 will be 81 only, which is greater than 72. So we can't write even 1. So we will taking 0 over here. As 80 into 0 is 0 only, therefore we got 0 and then subtracted from this, we got 72. And now we are going to copy this over here and add 0 over here. Now we will take any number over here and multiply by the same number. So here we get at 9. So 809 into 9 is 7281. So we will be taking 9 over here. And as it is cancelled out, so 409 is square root of the given number. Now in question number 2 of this exercise is asking for the number of digits of the square root of the given numbers without doing actual calculation. So for that we have to just make a pair. The number of pair will decide the number of digits of the square root. 
That's all for this question. Now let's move to the third question. In question number three, we are having a decimal number. And here, the difference in the normal number and the decimal number is that while taking the square root by the division method, we have to just do everything same. But when we are going to copy the number after the decimal, we are going to put the decimal in the top. Here is one thing. Now, on a case of pairing, we make a pair of the number before the decimal in from the back side and from here we put from forward now we are going to do the same thing 1 1 are 1 2 2 are 4 and 3 3 are 9 9 is exceeding 5 so we are going to take 2 2 are 4 then we are adding 2 and copy down 7 and 7 and when we are going to copy 7 and 7 as this is a number after decimal we are going to place a decimal sign over here now we are going to write something over here and multiply by the same number and we get the 7 over here uh, we get 4 on multiplying this number 44 by 4 we are getting 176 we have subtracted this we got 1 and then we have added 44 plus 4 and we have got 48 now we are going to copy 44 over here then over here if I write even 1 if I write even 1 over here 481 then it will become 481 which will be greater than 144 so we are going to take 0 now here 480 into 0 we have got 0 and on subtracting you will be getting 144 and here on adding 0 we get 480 only now we are going to copy the last two digits over here then we are going to place something over here and then multiply by the same number and on placing 3 and multiplying by the 3 we are getting the same number over here so we are going to take 3 and finally we get 0 at the end this means this number 2.403 is the square root of 5.774409 now let's go for the next question to find the square root of the following numbers correct to two decimal places now here in this question we have to give our answer to two decimal places this means first of all we have to find till three decimal places and then we'll make a round off to two decimal places now the question arises for the pairing so here before the decimal sign we are going to pair from the back we are going to take this two number then this will be alone and from here we are going to take a pair we are going to take a zero to complete the pairs two more zero for the second pair and two more for the third pair so we can put the zero as many we require after the decimal sign now we are going to start with it and it will be 2 2 are 4 we are left with 2 and now we will be just writing 2 over here and then copying the 2 4 and 5 over here then we are going to write something over here and then multiply by the same number to get the number over here and we got 45 into 5 equals to 2 2 5 which is a bit less than this now we have subtracted 2 to 5 from this 2 4 5 we got 20 and then this 5 is also written over here and we get 50 over here and this two digits will be copied and as the digits are after decimal so we are going to put a decimal sign over here now we'll try for the numbers over here and we'll be getting it by 504 into 4 equals to 2016 now we'll be copying two digits over here and trying with this other number now here this number was a bit small so we tried for the one it is 5001 so we have taken by the one only we have added one and then on subtracting we have got 1319 and then we have copied these two over here now we are going to add and the try once more now got this number by two times and that three times it was exceeding this so we are left with this remainder and as the remainder is there this means this is not a perfect square but this is a square root of this up to three decimal places now this can be written like this now as we have to take the only two digits so we are going to remove this one and check this number whether this number is exceeding five or not as it is less than 5 so we are going to just remove this number and this will become 
work. Here the answer for this question. Now the fourth and the fifth part that is the root of 2 and the root of 3. That is solved in a separate video and the link is really just so given in the description box. You can check from the description box and if you want to get the root of 2 and 3 you can see from that video. Here now let's see question number 5. In this question find the square root of the following fraction by a division method. Here we are having a fraction and we have to find the square root of that by using division method. Let's see the second part of this. This is 8 whole 257 upon 529 and to convert in improper form it will be 4489 upon 529 and we have to find the square root of the two numbers separately by the division method. First of all we will make pair then we are going to take the squares and here it will be taking as 6 6 are 36 as 7 7 are 49 is greater than this. So we will take 6 6 are 36. Now on subtracting we got 8 and copying the 2 digit we got 89 and here we have added 6 to get 12. Now we are going to write some number over here and you are going to multiply by the same number. So we will be getting it by the 7. Rather there is no specific rule to get which number is over here but we can guess a bit as we are having a 9 over here so it can be 3 or 7 only because 3 3 is a 9 and 7 7 is a 49 so with the help of this we can guess by the two numbers it will be 3 or the 7 and on checking by 7 we have got this therefore we take this one now go for this here we will take start from the 2 to the 4 and on adding 2 we got 4 and on subtracting we got 1 and then copied 1 to 9 Again we are having 9 at the last, so it will be either 3 or 7. We try by 3, 43 into 3 will be 129 only. So we take 3. And here we get the square root of both the numbers 4489 and 529. And on converting in the mixed form we got 2 whole 21 upon 23 as the final answer. That's all for this video. We are going to continue in the next one. Thank you.